Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. Why Larry indeed? I'm sure many people have asked that question. All right, Wolverine is trying to argue with me, saying he's still got something on Larry to prove that he committed the murder. Well, we'll just see about that, sir. I was the one who found the body of the victim to mask, too. Beside him was the samurai sword, glittering red and offering up the scent of blood. It was supposed to be in the Steel Samurai's dressing room, but I found it here instead. It's a good thing my throat is so damn scratchy today, because it's going to make voicing him a breeze, not anyone else. Then. Plus, I found the murder weapon's owner, the suspect Larry Butts, in here too. Wait, wait, that what? Wait, wait, that was it. That was it? Oh, crap. I could attack that on to the last episode. I didn't know how long it was going to be. All right, we've got that weird wooden ghost behind us still, and then uh, now we're just pointing a finger. So let's do it. Isn't it a bit far-fetched to accuse someone simply of the basis of ownership? Yeah, that's that comes up in like every trial beforehand. Like, oh, someone's thing was here. They must have done it. But this owner wanted to sneak onto the crime scene. I think that's plenty to go on, don't you? Not really, sir. If you're alluding to his reason for being by the chimney, we've already established it. Oh man, I do like your voice, I gotta be honest with you, Fangs. Hold on there, Mr. Prosecutor, you two are longtime friends, right? Who's to say you didn't fabricate the evidence to give him an alibi? You're accusing me of fabricating evidence? Uh-oh. He's going to take offense to that. You think you can believe anything you produce? Forging evidence is all you prosecutors do? Oh. Uh-oh. This man has some serious issues with prosecutors. Oh, come on! I can't think of something as complicated as that. I was just about to say, even if he did it, <laughs> we would tell the truth. We would not go to bat for him. Unless we had to. Larry, I can agree because I know you and your personality well. However, Agent Lang knows nothing about you, or me, for that matter. I sense his hatred for my entire profession emanating from his entire being. Meaning that the only way I can prove Larry's innocence is to present irrefutable evidence. Isn't that all we've been doing? <clears throat> if I clear my throat like 10 million times during this episode, I am so desperately sorry. I've got some serious allergies going on right now. I was the one who found the body of the victim to master. All right, you know what to do. Press everything with your finger. Right there, there it is. So you were the first to discover the body this time. This time, what's that supposed to mean? You better watch what you say. I only said this time because earlier Kay was the first to discover the body in Babal. And your secretary, Agent Sheena, was ready to accuse her of murder for that. Uh oh, you talked about his robot wife. He's gonna get mad. Ha! Are you gonna use that excuse to call me suspicious now? Of course not. I was simply pointing out the usual pattern with discoverers of bodies. But in the Babalese case, there was proof that she was holding the weapon, right? Well, in this one, it's a bit different, since we know exactly where the weapon is. Alright, you pray you pray to whoever you pray praying to, because I'm about... <laughs> I'm about to step up. Beside him was the samurai sword glittering red and offering up the scent of blood. Sounds delectable. Excuse me, but glittering red and offering up the scent of blood. Do I have to spell it out for you? I mean the sight and smell of blood, of course. Well, you could have just said it. You know? And according to the test, the blood on the sword belongs to the victim. The sword was made to only be used on stage, it's not sharp. But it's pretty weighty. It's certainly heavy enough to beat someone to death with. What? Wait a minute. No. Which leads me to suspect that the victim was beaten to death with the sword. Beaten to death, huh? This last statement is too important to just let it slip by. Why, what have we got? Um... What do we have? Do we have a picture of that sword? Here it is, it's over here. Samurai sword. Weapons used on stage. Thought to be what killed the mask too. I don't know. If he was beaten with it, it would have to- Wouldn't it have to be the handle part? And not the blade itself. It's just- I don't know. I get it that it's weighty and stuff, but I just don't think. Oh, wait a minute now, you know what? We got this, too. Hit it against the wall and bent it, it's hollow. You know what? Hmm. 
I don't know. I don't know if that's... Well, let's see what we can get him to say. Beside him was a samurai sword covered in the victim's blood. I suspect... Oh, he's saying that now. I suspect he beat the victim to death with it. What if... I don't think he used the sword, but would that mean I have to present the spear instead? Thing is, right? Did Larry lie about it? Did he hit somebody with the spear and bent it that way? I don't know. Oh, I don't... I don't know. I'm, I'm either ready to present the sword or the spear. But the thing is, right, is usually what you have to do is you have to look for the, the description of these items. And there's usually a hint in there somewhere. This one has the hint. It's hollow. This is wrong. Objection! Wait, it wasn't? I just guessed. That was- wait, that doesn't even make any sense. Do you know what this is, Agent Lang? It's a long spear, right? We used to use those a lot in my country a long time ago. Piercing, mowing people down, spears are the weapon of heroes throughout history. It's the next most effective weapon after the whip. I think the whip is in a slightly different category. Just a little. So what's your point? You're gonna tell me that the spear is the real weapon? Is that what we're gonna go with? Isn't that bad for Larry though? Because he was holding it. No, I simply want you to take a look at this. Look at this section. The way it's bent? Precisely. Apparently a certain troublemaker hit it against a wall in this embassy earlier. Oh, okay, so I was technically right. What I was trying to do there is thought maybe if we show them that the stage props are hollow, then maybe there's no way someone could die from them. Is that what we're going for here? As you can clearly see, the insides of the Steel Samurai's weapon is a hollow. In other words, they're replicas that aren't strong enough to deliver- Okay, so perfect. I wasn't sure where we were going with that. That's what I thought. Let alone the multiple strikes necessary to bludgeon someone to death. And yet, there is not even a dent in the samurai sword. How'd you explain it? That's another way you could have done it, saying that, oh, the spear dented, but the sword didn't. Oh, shoot, oh my god. His whole bunch of underwear just went flying. Oh yeah, the sword and the spear are made of the same stuff. Oh, they bend easy. But I wish they'd make them out of better stuff because the spear got bent. I wasn't able to do my special early summer rain jab move. Man, I got such an earful from the director of the play for not doing it in the show. The still Samurai's special move was changed tonight because of him? Are you really that- <laughs> are you really that surprised? Oh, okay, the spear's updated, I suppose. I don't know what it says. Oh. Ow! That's more than enough of your whiny whimpering. Now, back on the topic of the spear. Yes, yeah, so let's return to the real topic of discussion. This is where the real gamble begins. I don't have a real strategy, per se. Well, we'll just press all the things and see what he says. So all I can do for now is let the chips fall where they may. What kind of chips? Ketchup chips? Oh wait, sour cream and onion, right? No? Please don't tell me salt and vinegar, those are nasty. Guys, you don't like salt and vinegar chips, right? They're gross, please help me out here. I know, it's poker chips. Using guesswork and taking risks in place of real logic is hardly the Von Karma way. Well, I don't have time to rise up out of a coffin like Dad does, okay? <laughs> it's neither smart nor very clever. Miss Von Karma, as you know, unlike your father, I am not a vampire. <laughs> well, I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. I'm not. Plus, I doubt his record of a 40 year win streak will ever be broken. He does have a lot to live up to. But perhaps it's for the best if it remains unbroken. For no one should have conceived of the notion to convict all defendants in the first place. Objection! What? What's wrong? Uh oh. What a foolishly foolish statement from a foolish fool who hates to lose. It's the job of a prosecutor to make sure that all defendants are found guilty in court. There is nothing more important in this world than a perfect victory. That may be your opinion, however, I don't believe that's all we are. Oh, we're just fighting in front of him, that's awkward. <laughs> Oops. As a prosecutor, what I pursue is not the perfect victory, but the perfect truth. There you go. And if that means that, I must, that the bridge I must cross will crumble beneath my feet, then let it crumble as I walk on towards the truth. 
What is wrong, Wolverine? Do you need attention? You're good at keeping me entertained, Mr. Prosecutor. But you know, humans are delicate creatures. The slightest bump and we expire. I'd like you to consider, if you will, the possibility that the sword was used in such a way that the attack killed the mask too without bending it. Are you gonna go for that handle shit then? Cause that's really the only way is the pommel. So what do you think of my hypothetical scenario? I think it stinks. Like your fashion sense, I don't like it. I think you know what to do here, right? And what you need. Of course, what I need is evidence even Agent Lang can't refute. This is it. It's time to bring this to a close. How are we gonna do that? What you got in mind, Edgeworth? Why Larry Part 2, Electric Boogaloo? It's possible to use a samurai sword to kill someone. And under these circumstances, it's the only logical conclusion. We searched the embassy top to bottom, but the victim's blood is only on that weapon. Wait a minute. Okay. Is it? I better go look at my stuff. So isn't it only natural that the suspicion would fall into the owner of said weapon? What do we have? We have to look at stuff again. How long do you intend to cling onto that preposterous theory? As long as I want, because we examined every corner within the walls of this embassy. There's no stone we've left unturned. And we have managed to come up with only one logical conclusion. That the only place inside the embassy with the victim's blood on it is the sword. Is that true? Uh, well we can't use that. That's from the other place. So, what do we have? From here. Statue, note, sword, flowers, photo. Remember in the photo too. <sighs> Wait a minute. Do we have... Do we have the dude? Do we have his cause for death? Where is it? It might not be here. No, just the body of him. Was the cause of death just being bludgeoned? For that man? Hmm. So we have two statues. We've got the balls, and then we also have the alabast one. You know... <clears throat> shit. I just thought of it. So the, the statue, right, was moved. Oh, they probably bludgeoned him to death with this thing, didn't they? But there's no blood on it. Is there? Can't really look at it, can you? I don't really see anything. Hmm. I don't, yeah, I don't see anything, but what if, What if it's underneath it? That could be a thing. Or, or they wiped it off, but I don't know how we're going to prove that. Anyway, let's just see where this goes. Because I don't have anything. You left no stone unturned, is that a fact? Well, I mean, the fact that it was moved at all, the statue, makes it highly suspicious. If you've got something to say, then say it in the only way I respect, Mr. Prosecutor. Yes, of course. In that case, allow me to make it all crystal clear for you. Here we go. Alright. Why Larry Part 2? I'm still gonna press everything, because I don't know where I'm supposed to do this. It's possible to use a samurai sword to kill someone. Why is that? May I inquire as to how you're able to make such a claim, Agent Lang? Lang Zee says, capable of miracles beyond comprehension, a mysterious creature is man. Rather than man, as Agent Lang's quotes that are getting increasingly incomprehensible. The human body is a mysterious thing. Even with a toy-like sword, it's easy to kill a man if you just hit the right spot. Yeah, but I don't think Larry has any of that knowledge. Which is why I think it's possible to kill with this thing without leaving a dent. Dude. But we can only be sure one way or the other by seeing if the wound matches the sword. Do I know that? But as long as it's a possibility, I can proclaim it as much as I'd like. Yeah, that doesn't make it fact. Under these circumstances, the only logical conclusion. How did you come to that? But you must know that your conclusion is wrong. Given the circumstance I'm in, the only people I trust are my subordinates. Because they're a much more trustworthy bunch than you prosecutors will ever be. So that's the real deal, is it? You just don't want to trust me, so you just, you don't have a choice. And you call yourself a professional. You still don't see, do you, Mr. Prosecutor? You have to earn my trust. And the only way to do that is to show me proof of another possible murder weapon. Another possible weapon. In this room, there's only one other thing left. It's gotta be that statue, right? There isn't anything else. This is going to be a gamble, but I can't withdraw from the game now. You're not going to get me to trust you by the power of your glare alone, you know. I could. It's a good glare. You might fall in love with me, you don't know. 
Plus, I have other reasons to think why the samurai sword is the murder weapon. Like what? Oh, because you searched the embassy top to bottom. Is this where... Hmm, I'm gonna press this because I want to see if he says anything additional here. Because he, did, he didn't mention the statue was moved, did he? The only place where you could find blood was the samurai sword. That's right, even with Luminol. Which means that there are no other possibilities outside of what I've already outlined. I wonder if he checked that statue thoroughly, though. My... The only, the only, oh, here we go. The only thing I can think of is that actually it's on the exact bottom, but that would be very specific. If you bludgeon somebody with it, wouldn't there be splatters on some of it still? Like on the edges of it or something? Like I said in the last one, when you see this, it's 90% chance that you got a raise objection. So we're doing it. If you believe that there's no other door of possibility left to open, then allow me to force one open for you. Oh, it sounds like an innuendo, I'm just saying. It does. How do you plan to do that? By showing you what may possibly be the real murder weapon. Ha 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 Oh, look at this jovial laugh. What a good guy. The real murder weapon, I hate to repeat myself, but my men have already searched every last inch of this embassy, and they've concluded that nothing else could have been used as the weapon. Knowing these facts, do you still want to press forward with your little hypothesis? Of course because it's not possible that your men inspected everything in their investigation. Oh shoot, he's gonna take offense to that. What are you talking about? I don't appreciate mind games and I don't appreciate it when people like you slander my men. I'm not slandering them, I assure you. I'm merely pointing out that their investigative dragnet has a few holes in it. Namely, that there is something your men couldn't even lay a finger on. And that item is the real murder weapon. All right then, I'll play along for now. This real weapon that killed Damask too. What exactly is it? This is it. If I'm wrong. Real murder weapon, which not a single person has yet to touch, is this. Well, I hope I'm right about this. This is the only thing. <laughs> the flowers. I'm doing it. Ooh, I hope. The national treasure of Alabast. You mean the Primidu statue? Yes, and as you know, only the ambassador and his secretariat may touch it. Which, I believe, means that neither you nor your men were able to examine it, correct? Ha! <laughs> you know very well that if we did that, there'd be an international incident. Between the Kingdom of Alabast and the Republic of Babal, the two countries' precarious relationship teeters in the balance. Over a stupid fight related to a sovereignty statue. But I'll be damned if I let something go unexamined. So did you do it? Agent Lang, take a look at this. The direction the statue is facing just before and after the crime are different. And there is only one conclusion I can draw from that. Here we go, so he didn't know. Okay, so I was right. Oh god, you always forget that like everyone's just standing here with an earshot. <laughs> go look for Ambassador Helba and let him give us the okay to examine the statue. Shifu, you can't listen to this infidel's words. He's most definitely trying to trick you. Shifu, please, let's be rational about this. <sighs> Langzi says. Just go already. Yes, sir. Get out of here, Will Smith. Go do your job. All right, fine. Shifu, yeah. I'm really sorry, sir, but I was unable to convince the ambassador. I was able to obtain permission for us to examine the primitive statue. Ugh, I see. Wait, but then the investigation is at a standstill. Agent Blang, I will go and speak with the ambassador personally. Save your breath, he may act all weak and frail, but that old man's one tough cookie. I guess you gotta be tough when you're representing a whole country, you know? Agent Lang, what do you want? Let's just hurry up and examine the statue already. What? But Shifu! What about causing an international incident? We just won't tell anyone, it's fine. Quiet. I'll take the fall if I have to later. Wow, he's serious. Agent Lang, the hypothesis is mine, so if someone is to take the responsibility, let it be me. Responsibility? If we're gonna talk in such heavy terms, maybe I should let you. It'd be a real problem for my men if something were to happen to me. All right, less talk, more investigating. You're gonna do it, Adjuar, I think I'm in trouble. If we want to know the truth, we can't stop here. Action must be taken. Agent Lang, 
I'd like to run a luminol, chemiluminescence, evanescence test on the statue. Chemiluminescence. That's, that's a big word, that. The luminol test, good thinking. If the statue is the murder weapon, then some of the victim's blood should be on it. Okay, let's get the forensics team in here. We are all gonna get deported. Oh, look at that. Huh, well, what do you know? There is some on the top. I actually thought it would be on the bottom. Looks like you hit the jackpot, Mr. Prosecutor. I guess this means that this is the real weapon that killed Damask too. Indeed. But I wouldn't celebrate yet if I were you. This doesn't let your friend off the hook. It doesn't prove that he didn't kill Damask too, so the charge remains. We are hardly done examining the statue, Agent Lang. Knowing that it is the real weapon, I believe further examination is required. Ah, you think so? Alright, then knock yourself out. What you gonna do, Edgeworth? Oh, it's me that's gotta do it. Of course. With the thing that does- Oh, oh, look at that. Like I said, on the bottom would be something. Ugh. What do we have here? This dirty smudge. It looks like a handprint. <laughs> What's a definitive bit of evidence like you doing under here? Looks like we've got some fingerprints to analyze. Ugh. Worst case scenario, this prints belong to Larry. But it looks like it's too late for me to do anything about that now. We're just gonna have to wait and see. I wonder what's gonna happen. Hey, forensics guy, I want results on these fingerprints ASAP, you hear me? How long? Okay, it's probably gonna happen like right now. Agent Lang, I have the analysis results, sir. Good, and? Sir, about the prints we lifted from the bottom of the statue. Oh well, ugh. You know the victim of the murder in the Babalese embassy? <laughs> the prints belong to him. Mr. Manny Coach, what? That's- Wait, wait, what? What the shit? How? What's going on around here? No. That's impossible. Each Primadu statue can only be handled by someone of that country. But by the very fact that Mr. Cochin's fingerprints are on this one, it leads me to only one conclusion. Really? The statue is actually Babal's Primadu statue. Oh, because they look exactly the same. They're the same copy. We don't know which one's the copy in real, but they're the same thing, technically. Impossible! It can't be! Uh, I- Oh, everyone's freaking out. Every single person. Larry never once stepped foot in Babali soil, so he was free to go. However, this new piece of information only served to confuse us even further. The ringleader of a smuggling operation was killed with an alabastian knife in Babal. And Damask too was killed on Alabastian soil with Babal's national treasure. How the hell did this happen? And the mystery of the great thief Yatagarasu who visited both countries? The pieces were there, but I had yet to see the big picture they were to form. Oh no! Okay. Uh oh. Oops. Um. It's probably fine. Don't worry about that. Uh. Nope. 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 Save it in LP. Yeah, I figured we have some investigation now, so it's probably okay just to go a little bit further and then save it. Because I gave you guys, uh, short episodes the last two times, so let's go a little bit further at least. I've left the Damas 2 investigation of Francisca and returned to Babal. I suppose my first order of business should be to look into Babal's statue. Mr. Edgeworth! Kay, how you doing, darling? You alright? Kay, what's the situation? Oh, it's great! Investigating is so much fun! In other words, they've made absolutely no progress. We, we weren't goofing off! Honest, sir! We've been investigating our hearts out. Very well. Would you care to give me an update on your investigation? Yeah, what happened? Oh, oh, we get a really fun time, sir. I knew it. Zero progress. In any case, Detective Gumshoe? Yes, sir? You have permission to enter the Alabastian Embassy, is that correct? Yeah. As a local detective, I'm helping out with investigations on both sides, sir. Good. In that case, I can leave these pieces of evidence with you. Oh, here, yeah, please take her underwear. I don't want it. They belong to the lady under the pink princess's mask. The pink princess? What kind of lady was playing us, sir? 
The kind that was also playing the role of the pink badger yesterday. Oh! Oh, understood, sir. Ah, uh, he knows. If I happen to run into her, I'll give him back to her. Oh, and if I don't, then I guess I'll unload him somewhere. He doesn't seem at all enthused to go find her, but I can't blame him. Evidence has lost their value given to Detective Gumchi. Okay, so we don't need those to, to progress. That's good. At least we won't have, like, an inventory full of crap. Now that I don't believe I'll be needing this anymore either. What? Are you really gonna throw that autograph away? Yes, because that Steel Samurai was a fake. Steel Samurai's autograph scrunched up into a ball and disposed of- Oh man, you littered right in front of the guy. Oh my god. Wait, what? What do you mean by fake? Now then, I believe it's time for a little housekeeping. Unnecessary evidence has been removed. Remaining evidence has been rearranged. Wow. This is gonna go on for a bit if they're, if they're like, giving me room for evidence, right? Holy crap. Alright, well, let me talk to Kay real quick and see if she's come up with anything in the meanwhile. Yes? How you doing, darling? How is the investigation going in the Barbalese Secretariat's office, Kay? Mm. Well, even though we've found a few treasures, they've all been pretty much burnt to a crisp. A treasure is a terrible thing to waste. Anyway, is there anything else I should know about? Mm. Oh, that's right! You know what I found in that office? A wooden bear carving! It's so cute! Can I have it? Can I? No, of course you can't. By the sound of things, it appears that there's been no progress in the investigation. Are you really surprised about that? Alright, fine. Alright, uh... Can we talk to Gumshi before we leave? Hey, you're not going back to Alabaster ready? No, not yet. Oh, I didn't mean- I- I just wanted to walk this way. Jeez. Gumshi, you're alright. Aw, oh, it's good to hear your theme again, man. How's your face? You look like you're enjoying yourself, detective. Well, I don't have much else that I enjoy as much as a good investigation, sir. So, what did you find out? Ah, uh, well... <laughs> I take it he's found nothing of any particular use, as usual. Oh no, Gumshoe, really? Oh dear. Hey, Mr. Edgeworth, I got something really interesting from Ambassador Polena. Oh? What's this something interesting? This, sir? What's that? I, God damn it, I thought it was gonna be those buffet coupons again. Wow, that's so pretty! I'm so jealous! That's a real treasure there! Why does the flame burn green, detective? So apparently if you burned a special wit crystal oil that they only make in Babal, it burns this green color, sir. Interesting. So it's a special property of the oil. I suppose this is a ploy to force people to visit Babal should the oil run out. Hey, Gummy, what about these silhouettes? They stuck some cutouts on the outside of the lance and sort of project the image. Oh. Silhouettes, eh? They're rather pretty. Yeah? That it, Edward? Wait, what am I doing? I was supposed to be asking for an update on the investigation. Hey, what's wrong, sir? There's something I want you to investigate for me. Do you think you can do that much? Uh-huh. You got it, sir. Hey, that's not fair. Why is Gummy getting to do all the fun stuff? Ah, well, that's because I, Mr. Edgeworth's partner. I can't believe you took advantage of the confusion and stole my role as an assistant. I expect the two of you to get along and work together like professionals on this. Silhouette Lantern, okay. It is really pretty. I wonder why that's important. Alright, well, no time for that. I gotta talk to a crazy guy. Hello, how are you, sir? You doing alright over there? Ah, uh, so you're back, aren't you, Mr. Edgeworth? You must be tired here with these. You can eat whatever you'd like. Do not give me those damn things. I don't want to go to your goddamn Golden Corral. And these are? Discount tickets for our cafeteria. They open tomorrow at 10 in the morning. I appreciate the concern. However, these coupons do nothing for me right now. Yeah, really. Check your face. This open-air stage, what function does it serve exactly? Well, normally we use it for a variety of events. It's all to attract that extra bit of attention to Babal. I heard that tonight, over in the Alabastian Rose Garden, Ambassador Alba was to give a speech. And you know what? Manny told me that I really should give a speech too. Mr. Cochin told you that? Yes, he did. Which is why I thought I should give a speech of my own. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to. Because of the fire the Artagrassi started. Exactly. He looks so serious sometimes. I'm just gonna do that whole thing that I usually do. 
You know, like we did with Callisto when she was just silly and then she was suddenly... Because look at him now! Right? Oh my god. Alright, let's ask him about the statue. Ambassador Polano, I'd like to ask you a little more about the Primidu statues. Oh, I see! Well, let me ask you this! Did you know that Alabast and Babal used to be one country called Kotopia? Yes! Yes, I know that much about your history. Well, the Primidu statue belonged to the founders of Kotopia. At least, that's how the story goes. It was bequeathed unto the king of Kotopia as a symbol of the country's wealth. So it was meant as a symbol of sovereignty and the right to rule, I take it? Yes, that's right, which is why both countries are so adamant about their claim. We hold the real statue, therefore we hold the right to rule, is the reasoning. It's pretty petty when you think about it, though, I suppose. But if Alabast and Babal were to re-establish relations, shouldn't that put an end to the squabbling over the statue? I have no reason to believe. He doesn't think it will. The Primidu statue is even more important now as the key to diplomacy. I wonder if Ambassador Polino knows about what has happened to the very important key to diplomacy. Probably not, right? He hasn't left here. Perhaps I should try showing him the key and see what he has to say about it. We'll have to do that, though, I think, in the next one. Uh, I don't think he's going to be pleased, but maybe... He, he almost seems like kind of a showman, too, so he might just put on a show, like a face for it, right? We'll have to see. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, and I will see you soon in the next one. Toodaloo!